In this video, we will learn about substitution cipher and keyword cipher. I will use tools on this website, Crypto Club. Let's start with substitution cipher here. In this cipher, each letter of alphabet is substituted by another letter. Original letters are referred to as plain text and substituted letters are known as cipher text. A letter cannot be replaced by itself and these mappings of letter from plain text to cipher text can be completely random. For example, let's see a sample. Once we have this substitution table or mapping, we can use it to encrypt and decrypt. Let's get a sample text to encode. And how will we encrypt it? For each letter in message, look at its mapping in the table and write the encrypted letter. For example, look at the letter T and go to the table in the plain text. So T letter is mapped to ciphertext R. So I write here R. Next letter is E. So go to the table. E is mapped to M. Let's write M here. A is mapped to F. M is mapped to Q and so on. We can complete this quickly by clicking on the quick answer here. Decryption of substitution cipher works in the reverse manner using the same mapping table. Let's look at an example of decryption and this time we get a sample text to decode. As we have to decipher, let's sort the substitution table by cipher text. Mapping between the letters in plain text and cipher text is still the same but it is sorted by ciphertext to make the decryption process easier. Let's decipher. This time for each letter in the encrypted code, I look at the lower row here and read the corresponding plain text letter in the top row. For example, for Z, I go here and it is mapped to L. So let's write L here. H goes to O. R goes to T, L goes to S and so on. So let's see as we have deciphered the first word is making sense. It's lots. If we continue we will be able to decode this message but to do it quickly I just use the quick answer here. In substitution cipher each letter is mapped uniquely into another letter and no letter is repeated. If I get sample mappings by clicking here there are tons of possibilities. For example, this is one mapping. I can get another one like so or another one is this. The actual number of possible substitution ciphers depend on the fact that there are 26 letters in English alphabet. And it is given on their website if I click here. So more than 400 septillion substitution ciphers are possible. That is order of magnitude 10 to the power 26. Now Caesar cipher that you are already familiar with is also a type of substitution cipher but it has a pattern to it. And another one with special pattern is keyword cipher and that we will learn in a bit. We have looked at decrypting substitution cipher when substitution table of plain text and cipher text is provided. How will we decrypt if this table is not available? In that case we will use frequency analysis. And to use frequency analysis on this website, we can use the tool crack substitution. Let's look at a sample. So here is the sample cipher text and in order to decode it, we can use the letter frequencies here. Let's learn about keyword cipher now. Keyword cipher is a type of substitution cipher where the substitution table uses a keyword and a key letter. This pattern of keyword and key letter make it easy to be described but it is more difficult to break than the Caesar cipher because the pattern does not involve numbers and shifting of numbers. Let's start with an example by choosing a keyword physics and key letter H and encrypt a sample plain text. First we will fill in the substitution table. We place keyword at the location under key letter. So we start writing physics below H here. So P H Y S I C. 
but I will not write the letter S again because if a letter appears more than once in the keyword, it is only written the first time it appears. Now I will write unused letters in alphabetical order, wrapping around the alphabet here until all letters are used. So after P H Y S I C, I start writing A, B, I skip C because the letter C is already present in physics. So D, E, F, G, I skip H and I, then J, K, L, M, N, O, skip P, Q, and then wrap the letters, go back to the beginning here, R, skip S, then T, U, V, W, X, skip Y, and then Z. Now our substitution table is ready and we can use the mapping here to encrypt and decrypt. As we have already seen how to read such a substitution table to encode and decode, I will just click on quick answer to get the encrypted text. This example of keyword cipher where the cipher text contains the keyword and plain text has the key letter is known as keyword cipher of type K2. We can also flip it and place the keyword in plain text and key letter in cipher text. That will become keyword cipher of type K1. Let's look at an example from Journal of American Cryptogram Association. In K1 example here, keyword is poultry, placed in plain text. Key letter is R that tells the location in cipher text at which keyword should start. After the word poultry in the plain text, rest of the unused letters in alphabet are written in order. In cipher text below, R is the key letter, rest of the alphabets are in order up to Z and then start again in order from A. This substitution table can also be written by rearranging and sorting the table by cipher text. Let's look at it here. So poultry keyword in plain text in top row starting at the location of key letter R in ciphertext in the bottom row. And the bottom row is arranged in alphabetical order. So summarizing the difference between K1 and K2 substitution ciphers, K1 is the one where plain text has the keyword and ciphertext is normal. K2 is the one where ciphertext has keyword and plain text is normal.